High school football is back, and top to bottom, the teams in San Diego are more competitive than ever. The landscape here in San Diego, as far as the, the powerhouse football teams, it's uh, the usual suspects. It's, it's hard to look past Cathedral Catholic. Our league, uh, I think, is one of the best leagues top to bottom. Always Cathedral, always San Augustine, always the powerhouses around San Diego. Mission Hills is going to be good. Torrey Pines. Uh, so uh, Oceanside, a lot of the coaches have said Oceanside has its mojo back. And Oceanside has, you know, has never been bad, but they were always really, really good. And I, I think they're ready to, to get back into that upper echelon of, of teams. We can't yet know which teams will win championships this year, but we do know who some of the top players are. The top players and probably the, the best player, he's a little undersized, but he's, he is a brute of a running back from Helix High, El Elyon Noah. Coaching L.L. Leon, I say he's the most dynamic guy I've ever coached, and sometimes when you say dynamic, they think of Reggie Bush and, you know, running and breaking tackles and all those things and speed. The thing about him that makes him dynamic is he's so physical. He runs the ball. He has such great body control. He doesn't stop his feet, so when you think he's down, he's not down. Noah is special. He looks like he just ate the star in Mario. He's a 1,500-yard back power back. He's a beast. I mean, the kid look, he's super fast. He, he knows how to break kids. You know, I got a lot of respect for him. I've seen a lot of a lot of plays on him. He, he, he's everywhere. He has a, a mix between speed and balance and power. He's, he's a real good uh, running back. He's poised to have a fantastic year. I think he's arguably the best player in the county. If, you, if you're going to show up, I'm going to show up as well. If you're going to show up, I'm going to show up too. He's probably the number one guy. Uh, we have a number of great linebackers at uh, La Costa Canyon, Ozzy Nicholas is just a, a monster who will knock your head off. Ozzy is one of the best linebackers in, in, the, in, our, in our county, uh, if not the state. Uh, what makes him special first is just his love. He loves football. You know, he, he's a physical downhill player, and he's got good size. So you put those things together, and it makes it difficult to, uh, he's just difficult to block. Uh, Ozzy Nichols, one of my good friends. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a baller. My game, I'd explain, I, I'm a downhill player. I, I play, you know, really fast, sideline to sideline. If I'd idolize the player, I, I'd say Ray Lewis. I mean, that's, that's the guy I've always looked up to ever since I was a, you know, six-year-old kid. Jordan Allen, another great linebacker at Cathedral Catholic, another Ozzy Nicholas type. Uh, he's a great off-the-edge rusher. He knows the game of football well, and he has just a great tenacity for the ball. Jordan's a freak, man. He's he, uh, he's got pedigree, his pops played in the league, obviously. Uh, he looks apart, he doesn't look like he's in high school. Like I tease Ozzy, Ozzy's escaped the wild animal park. He's a silverback gorilla. Well then, you know, Jordan maybe is a gazelle. You know, that guy is, he's, he's pretty talented. I play him like, what, my third year now? Every year he made his presence on the field. Every time I played him, it's always been a factor playing again, so I want you to make sure he's playing, that he's out there, knowing that he's out there on defense. When you look at Jordan Allen, he's the guy that you know goes in there and he kind of elevates the position that they have. I describe my game as a rush linebacker, getting the ball as fast as I can from point A to point B. Those players will certainly be exciting to watch. The season is just a week old, but it's never too early to predict which teams will contend for titles. Predictions are really hard early on. Well, I think when you look at the 2019 season, you know Cathedral is probably the team to beat just because they got, you know, their offensive line back and. You know, Coach Doyle does a great job at Cathedral. The, the two leagues that are perennial powers now are the Western League with Cathedral, Saints, Point Loma, Madison, you know, really strong league. And then you've got the Avocado League with Mission Hills, Torrey Pines, Carlsbad, Oceanside, San Marcos, and El Camino. Any, any one of those teams could, you know, could win it. Anyone could finish last. There's some great teams in, in San Diego, and you know they have they have great coaches, great culture. But uh, you know, one of our slogan this year is, is why not us? You know, why why can't we be one of those elite teams going to state, going about, you know, just being being one of those elite teams? I describe a perfect season as a state championship, going undefeated, getting the trophy, uh, back to school. Our goal is to make the open. Our goal is to play the top level competition. You know, we want to get to the open division. We want to play the best teams in, in San Diego and, and have a great year and create some great memories for these guys. For the players, high school football memories last a lifetime. There's still something special about playing under the lights on Friday nights. You know, Friday night lights, there's nothing like it. 
and, and it's, it's just fun. Friday Night Lights is, is the best thing ever. It's just, it's special, you know, um, everyone's excited. Once you get out there on the field, you know, it, it feels, sometimes it feels like there's 30,000 people in the stands. You know, to play on Friday night is kind of a rite of passage, a tradition that all high schools have, and you know, it's an experience that you're gonna remember for the rest of your life. Friday Night Lights, nothing better than high school football on Friday night. The pageantry, the excitement, it's the best uh, sport on earth. If you get a chance on a, on a Friday, go go see a game. Get there, get there early. Get a hot dog and, and enjoy it because it, it's a blast.